If you get into woodworking, sooner or later you're going to ask yourself the question, what do I do about all this sawdust? Now I installed a two horsepower dust collecting system, but I found that it just did not have enough suction to uh, take care of that sawdust from all the machines, especially my planer. So I began to think about this situation and um, I realized that maybe the a large sawdust collecting system was not necessarily what I needed in my shop. Since I'm only running one machine at a time, why do I need a five horsepower dust collector running to all these machines if I'm only uh, running one at a time? These big dust collecting systems can cost thousands of dollars including all the piping and so on that you need to run all over your shop. So I came up with another idea. So I thought, since my planer is my biggest sawdust maker, why not buy this one horsepower Rikon dust collector and dedicate it just to that planer? So I thought this was kind of a clumsy way to use this collector, so I decided to build a little cart that would uh, hold this thing I could wheel it around in the shop. So I determined that uh, if I made the base 18 inches square, that could hold that, uh, that bag. And when I bought the Rikon, it came with these wheels. So I thought, okay, I'll use these wheels for my little cart. My intention is just to make this a temporary situation and so I didn't want to get too fancy as far as this little uh, cabinet to hold it and so I came up with this little plan here if I if I uh, cut out a piece of plywood four feet long that will uh, be a good height for this uh, collector to be bolted in there and have the, the bag hang straight down and be able to wheel it around. So here I am uh, just setting that collector up on that piece of plywood to determine where the bolt holes will be in this. This will be the back of this little rolly cart that I'm making here. So I'll go ahead and start the, the machine up and here's the bottom. And that's where the wheels will be attached. So this is the finished product that I came up with here. And it, and it works just fine. It's simple. Didn't use much lumber and uh, it wheels around in the shop no problem. So I thought I'd try this system with my planer. And then if it works out, I plan to attach this blower right to my wall, cut a hole through the wall and blow the sawdust outside to a shed. So here it is hooked up to the pointer and uh, I decided that this was going to work just fine. These little dust collectors are quite powerful and uh, they only cost $250 and so I could own two or three of them and still uh, come in way less than what you'd spend on a large dust collecting system where you've got the pipes running all over your shop and so on. Some of the most dangerous sawdust is produced from sanding, and so I plan to get another one of these small collectors and uh, build a sanding table so I can take care of that fine dust. So if you have a small wood shop like I do, where you're only running one machine at a time, maybe uh, this will make you think about an alternative to the large dust collecting system. Man, we've got to suck up this sawdust. Here we go. That Rikon is working just fine, sucking all that sawdust up. Thanks for watching, my friends. Have a good day.